Hoy, and ka pala, and andito na naman ako for another, another, what am I doing? For another haul, another Hoya haul. So, tala! So, literally, I just came back from UPT. We were just there. Me, Rainier, I also saw Johanna and her wife. And Mandolin was also there, and of course, April and Derek Mall. So, I'm gonna show you guys what I got there. And also, I also, also, and also, and here we go. I also got some plants via mail. So, I wanna show them to you guys as well because it's a haul after all. And it's spring is upon us, it's here. I can feel it. Yes, I'm gonna get tan again. The plants are gonna be coming in the mail. So, yeah. I'm gonna show you guys first the one that I got like I basically opened from the mail is this guy this is a Hoya snowball I got this from Rick Jarrett so he does this purchase on Hoya Haven Facebook store on Facebook I'm gonna link down there below and the bottom I just noticed I don't know if it will show there the bottom is actually fuzzy does it show I don't know but yeah, it's fuzzy to touch, almost like a lambi or a, a yeah, I mean the bottom of the leaf um, being fuzzy. And a, well, I don't know actually why they call it a snowball, but we shall see. But this is a Carnosa cultivar, so bloom-wise, I'm assuming it's gonna just have the same bloom as a regular Carnosa. Like smells like chocolate or Tootsie Roll. But yeah, this is Hoya Snowball or Cultivar Snowball. With that, I also ordered, I was able to get this from Rick Jarrett. This is Hoya Litoralis uh, IML930. It has some more lanceolate leaves. And it for me, it looks like a, what do you call that, Hoya? Ah, it's in the top of my head, but I cannot remember. But yeah, it's like the bigger version of it or... Uh, what is it called? It's a very common Hoya that I can't remember. But yeah, anyways, I got this and I can see that it can sun stress. If you look there, the ribbon can turn red and of course it'll get chlorotic just like any other Hoyas or any other plants that got exposed to light. There's a new growth and here's a picture of its bloom. Hoya Litoralis IML 930. So these are the two that I got from Rick Jarrett. And then, of course, remember last haul that I did, I was talking a lot about, well, it wasn't a haul, actually. It was my unboxing from Thailand. I had a lot of Thin Leaves Hoya, and I mentioned this other Hoya that I didn't have yet. Well, dun, 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 I have it, I have it. I have it and it's the Hoya Danomensis. I got this one from my plant, from my Hoya plant baby daddy, Hoya How, from his Etsy. So of course, I'm gonna link his Etsy store down below again so you can actually catch some when he posts restock. But if I were you, I would follow him on Instagram as well because he does post on his story when he has restocked some new Hoyas on his store. So there's that. Hoya Danomensis and the blooms I like this. The blooms are like this. It's like um, yeah, almost like Sistianta, like those same, same blooms. Yes, Hoya Danomensis. And then the last one that I got from the mail this week is, tan tan tan. This is Hoya PNG SV four three six. I have no idea what those letters stands for, but yes, the leaves. The leaves are gorgeous. Reminds me of Naomani, Hoya Naomani, the one that looks like a ficus altissima leaves. So yeah, this is Hoya PNG SB436. I'm not sure if this is the same Hoya that I have been eyeing at UPT's greenhouse, but if it were, oh, MG, I'll be so like, yes. But these are the picture of its blooms. Hoya PNG SV436 reporting for duty, sir and ma'am. Yeah, I don't know why I said that. And moving on to the Hoyas that I got today from UPT's greenhouse. Is this very round looking leaf shape. 
almost like a Sarawak, but no, it's not a Sarawak. It also has a lighter green in color, and they call it the Hoya Spa BP03. I'm gonna try to look for pictures of its bloom from the internet because I have nowhere else to source the picture, but of course from the internet. But it grabbed my attention because it's so round, not like as an ovo bata, but this one has, um, what do you call this? A water, a drip tip. There you go, a water drip tip. Yeah, a drip tip at the edge. It's almost like a Svetlana, but it's not a Svetlana because, yeah, it's different. But yeah, this is Hoya Spa BP03. And hopefully, if I have found a picture of its bloom, I'm going to insert it here. Hoya Spa BP03. I know, I know, this might be not a rare Hoya. might be one of the common ones, but... This is a Hoya Multiflora and it has a pedanko and it's actively pedankoling. I don't know if it's gonna blast because if you do have a Multiflora at home, you already know that they are notorious for blasting their blooms, especially if it's their first time. And, looks lo and it looks like this is the first time for this pedanko. It's just so pretty. It's a Multiflora. Classic beauty. It's a classic Hoyang Pilipina. So Hoya Multiflora is also a, a thin leaf Hoya. So it's a must. There's that. Okay. Oh. Hmm. And this big guy, I'm gonna show you guys. Look at that. It's so tall. It's oh excuse me, sorry. So this guy here is can we can we can we can you see the top? Uh, can we do it? Uh, oops, oops, oops. There we go. This is a Hoya. Oh, what's your name again? It's the non splashy NGG berry, basically. The Nicole Sonier. Yeah, I think that's the name of it. Hoya Nicole Sonier. So imagine this if <laughs> this with the silver leaves, it if it, it becomes very gassy and turn into silver yeah this is the guy you'll be looking for this would be the ngg the new guinea ghost but it's not it's the nicole sonier it's the hoya nicole sonier and it's very big it has a new tendril growing there and lots of new leaves and it has this nice um veination like a uh, how many veins like five veins like prominent veins per leaf and a drip tip and it curves very beautiful plant, classic green. Yeah, hopefully we shall see if it'll turn silver for us. <laughs> That'll be an experiment to do. Hoya Nicole Sonier, this is the picture of its blooms. A Hoya bloom that is beautiful no matter what. That is if it, if it will bloom for me. So we shall see. And this guy, you might think it is just a nobody's business Hoya. It has nothing special on its leaves, but I think it has something special. It's pretty. It has new growth. It has a tendril. There's like two in this pot. Yes. This is Hoya Spa PNG SV441. Like, that's a mouthful. So yeah, it might be your basic Hoya leaf in your, in the, in people's eyes. But wait, check out these blooms. It's almost like a Hoya Onikoi. This is bloom. Yep. So yeah, if I were you, if you see this Hoya out there and you'll be like, nah, too basic for me. Nah, it doesn't have any veins. Nah, it has no variegation. Nah, it doesn't even have like splashiness. But boy, oh boy, the blooms. It's the blooms and look at this new growth. It's dark. It's so beautiful. So this is Hoya Spa PNG SV441. Seriously, what is PNG? Papua New Guinea? Maybe it is Papua New Guinea, PNG. But yeah, the blooms, man. The blooms. If you get a chance to get a hold of one, you should get a hold of one. So, almost there, you guys. I think I only have one Hoya to show with you guys. And this one, I saved for last because OMG. OMG. Halika na. Halika na. Ang, ang, ang arte ko pa eh. Pakita ko na sa inyo. Hold your breath. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> I'm crying, you guys. Tingnan mo how big it is in comparison to my face. Ah. Ah. Ang 
arte ko, men. This is the other form of Hoya Undulata. So they were telling me what this is from, but all I can keep on saying to my head, it's Pagong, Pagong, Hoya Pagong, or Turtle, but it's actually an Undulata. So it's the other form. So there's this one that I have already, the one from Thailand. And I didn't pay attention when they were telling me where this one is from. So comment down below. <laughs> Mandy, April, if you're watching this, where is this undulata? Where did this one come from? Uh, yeah, it has more of a rounder leaf. Pagong, man. Turtle. It's a turtle. Put a head there. Did a feet. Yeah. And it has new growth. A lot of new growth. I'm so happy. I'm in love. Yeah. I hope I don't kill it. Because, you know, Hoya undulatas are notorious to be one of the harder Hoyas to keep happy or alive so yeah those are the hoyas that i have gotten this week i'm so blessed that i am able to get a hold of these beautiful creations of god yeah seriously like seriously if i don't know like i'm just in awe of his creation imagine this hoya has this kind of leaves this hoya this kind of leaves this hoya this kind of blooms well, yeah it's just Amaze balls. I don't know, but yeah, I'm overwhelmed. I'm hyper. I'm just so happy, and I'm so happy I can share this with all of you guys. So, yeah, check out their websites Unsolicited Plant Talks. I'm gonna link it down below. Check their Instagram as well and their Facebook group. I'm gonna link it down here as well as Hoya House or Grow That Babies. And also, what else should I link? Yeah, I think I'm gonna link Rainier's Etsy store down there too because he actually picked me up and drove me there and drove me back and yeah, we, like he's an awesome person. You should support small businesses and these are all small businesses. And also mindful, just uh, to check with you guys, please be careful where you're sourcing your plants from. Um, recently, there is again, um, it's resurfacing some people um stealing cuttings from botanical gardens so botanical gardens people get to learn about plants there people donate plants there for reasons so that it can be studied but yeah some people will just take advantage of those and are stealing so be mindful where you source your plants make sure it is um legally grown or sourced if they're not poached yeah be mindful and don't be afraid to ask the seller where they got or where did they source these plants from because at the end we are the buyer we control if we're gonna give them our money or not or if we're gonna fuel this unacceptable behavior stealing poaching plants from the source no yeah so yeah just be mindful of that let's keep the plant community a community where in there's a lot of positivity and growth yeah let's bloom together same time encourage each other and if you're seeing something wrong going on please stop yeah okay enough of that mm -hmm. enough of that tita joan so thank you again for watching this video and sharing this excitement with me yes i'm so in yeah too much energy but yeah follow us on instagram at julians underscore plant underscore corner and of course if you want to see more contents like this subscribe to my channel like and comment and why not hit that bell button since you're on it anyway okay 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 i don't know what i'm doing but yeah kita kita tayo next time and may you always be blessed